Is there a cure for the housekeeping blues? What was I thinking? I can't wait to clean dog vomit off the couch. Not gonna lie, I'm struggling today. It's a Monday. Mondays are not the funnest day. There's a reason that Monday gets a bad rap. There's all the morning chores that have to be done and all the weekend clutter. Seems like over the weekend, families relax, kind of let down their guard a little bit, may not throw away the trash, put up the dishes, pick up the laundry, put it down the chute. So Mondays are always a challenge. Today was especially challenging because I had those morning catch-up chores to do. I wanted to get a video out, wanted to do the big reveal video for this beautiful piece across the room that I've been building. And it didn't happen. Yesterday, half of my family went on a hike. I decided to sit it out because I have an injured knee. And I'm usually not that big of a wimp about creepy crawly things, but I hate, detest, despise snakes and ticks. So until it gets cold enough for those guys to hide away and not come out and show their gross little heads, I try to avoid long hikes in bushes and things like that. So I stayed home. Well, today, after I finished all of those morning chores and uh, got in the shower, I happened to look down and there were little black legs coming out of my injured knee. That's not why my knee was injured, although I was tempted to go ahead and just do away with the knee. There was a tick in my knee. I decided that it was time to call my husband and tell him, please come home right now. Not too big of an emergency, but there's something in my leg and it's wiggling and you've got to get it out. He was very gracious, very loving, very patient, came home right away, got the tweezers and pulled the disgusting critter from my leg. I also discovered there is a spider bite in a place that I can't show you. I didn't go in the hike, but I got the tick and the spider bite. This is not the way I expected the day to start. Mondays are never easy. Chores are never fun, but they have to be done. So how can we make them better? When the girls were little, I remember it was a constant battle to keep the house clean. And to some extent, it still is. But when you clean one room, you have everybody go behind you when they're little, track everything out, it's useless. You're going in circles all day trying to keep it clean. So my number one tip is, you're gonna have to relax it a little bit, especially while the kids are little. It's okay not to have a perfect house. People don't expect to have a perfect house. People that have perfect houses don't have people living in them. If you go to your grandma's house, you remember it's probably spotless. I know my grandmother's house was always immaculate, beautiful. Her furniture was all arranged perfectly. Everything was polished. The windows were shiny. She didn't have little kids running around. They say that when the stalls are empty, the barn is clean. Well, our stalls are not empty. Even with one adult child, young adult child, and one teen child, and a husband, the house is not gonna be perfect. We gotta let our guard down a little bit, gotta relax and say, it's gonna be okay. People don't expect perfection. My second tip isn't gonna make the mess magically go away, but it may put your mind at ease. It has been proven that when we smell familiar scents or things that make us feel comfortable, that it puts us in a better mood. I like to melt these candles that my daughters bought me. This isn't an advertisement although I wouldn't mind being endorsed, Magic Candle Company produces candles that smell like your favorite places. For instance, the girls got me this Caribbean Beach Resort and this Pirate Life from Pirates of the Caribbean at Disney World. So I just put the whole tin in my little wax warmer. Makes me feel a lot better to get that in the air. Brings back good memories of vacation and uh, kind of sets my mind at ease. 
A bonus tip is you can get the concentrated fragrance in any scent that you like for a little bit of nothing. You can put an unscented candle in your warmer or just unscented wax cubes and then add one or two tiny drops. That way you can put your favorite scent in there, kind of put yourself at ease, at least make the house smell a little fresher for you and for your visitors. Another helpful hint that won't wipe the mess away but it does put your nerves at ease is to put on some music that you like. I love that we have all of these gizmos and gadgets now that you can catch on sale for not too much money and you can ask them to turn music on for you. It's like having your own personal assistant and you can ask them to play your favorite music. Another one of my favorite tricks may seem like common sense but having some gloves on hand makes housekeeping so much better. So I have a hook under the sink that I keep my gloves on. There are things you simply don't want to touch. And admittedly, for years, I thought even a $3 pair of latex or vinyl gloves would be too much of an expense. You know, just it's a want, not a need. But once I got them, I realized how much more willing I was to clean out that nasty drain, to pull hair out of the bathtub, to scrape grease out of pots, and do all of those things that uh, you normally wouldn't want to do with your hands. So it's a small investment, but it makes the work not quite as gross, and it's even a little bit motivating. If you hear strange noises in the background, it's just the puppies helping themselves to some water. They had to come in again. Another thing I wish I would have known about as a very young mother, a new mom, were microfiber towels. Of course, at the time, I probably couldn't have afforded them because I do remember them being pretty pricey at one point, but now you can get them at TJ Maxx, Ross, all those neat discount places. Even Dollar Tree sometimes has them. So they're really inexpensive now. And the neat thing about microfiber is you have each of these, I don't know if you can see the texture, but each of these little threads that come out here, it's like they have fingers on them and they grab onto dust and the grease and oil and whatever you're trying to clean up. And it makes cleaning a lot faster. And a lot of the time you don't have to use any window cleaner or, or soap or water or anything. You just dampen them or use them dry and it cleans things right off. They're great for dusting, for shining the windows, polishing the windows, shining like the chrome on your sinks. Microfiber towels are a great investment, highly recommend it. And they're also really nice and soft. Aww. So it makes cleaning a little bit easier and more pleasant. Another hint that saves lots of time and money is to go paper towel less, less. Not completely paper towel less, but paper towel less. I still keep a roll of paper towels on hand for nasty spills that I don't want to have to wash out of the towel itself. But it's so handy, I was actually inspired by Martha Stewart years ago when she opened up one of her kitchen drawers and had a whole stack of these white kitchen towels. And now you can get packs of 18 for $4 at your local discount store. You save a lot of money because you're not just widening up paper towels. Paper towels are expensive now and you just throw them out after one use. These, you can use them over and over. You do have to wash them, but I just throw them in with my regular towels and they come out great and they have saved a lot of money, keep a bunch of them in the drawer on hand and it saves a lot of time. They're very convenient. Highly suggest going paper towel less. Another amazing tip that I came across when I was trying to refinish the floor and got tired of going back and forth to the sink is with a square cloth, you actually have eight surfaces to clean with. You don't have to rinse, go back and forth. What you do is you fold it in half fold it in half again. You can clean on this side. You have a clean surface. When that gets dirty, flip it over. You have a surface there. Then just open it up. You have two more surfaces to clean on. When those are dirty, turn it inside out. Do the same thing. And you have four more surfaces. That way you're not running back and forth to the sink to rinse it and you have a perfectly clean surface to, to wash your floor or counter or whatever you're working on. And uh, it saves a whole lot of time from going back and forth. I thought that was a really neat, simple tip. I know there's no way that I can come to your house, help you do your dishes and everything, and I'm also not saying that I am a perfect housekeeper. I am far from a perfect housekeeper. I 
I make more sawdust than I do clean up messes. Well, I have clean up messes, but I make more saw. I don't know. It's an endless cycle. I make a lot of sawdust. I'm not a perfect housekeeper, but these are things that will make keeping house a little bit easier and a little bit more bearable. There really is no cure to the housekeeping blues, but all of these little tips and tricks hopefully will make it a little bit better. If you have tips and tricks, please comment below. I'm really excited for us to share with each other and learn from each other, because that's what we're here for. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. Be sure to subscribe, it helps so much. The channel is growing. The more it grows, the more good material I can put out there. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next week.